Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In this video we are going to learn how to build a better form with focus state introduced in Swift UI 3 With the help of focus state users can switch the form field with the help of a button or using UI keyboard. It's a type of property wrapper type that can read and write a value that Swift UI updates as the placement of focus within the scene changes. Our final app will look something like this. It is a kind of a contact as form in which it has a button to switch the focus of the field forward and backward. Apart from that user can use a keyboard return button to change the fields. To build the form first create a state and add a variable of first name which equals an empty string. Then inside the body add a text field. Inside it add the place holder and add binding as first name. Similarly create states for other fields like last name, email, phone number and age. then create the text field respectively now wrap all the text fields inside the navigation view in it create a form wrapper then add all the text fields inside the form add the navigation title as contact us form at the bottom of the form add a button with action and label just below the text view add a frame modifier as max width of infinity Below the button view add modifier button style as bordered prominent and a tint as green wrap a form field inside different sections above the form section add edge stack and create a two button one for moving the focus forward and other backward add some modifiers Now let's start building the focus state create enum as focus fields inside it add case for all the respective fields then create a property wrapper of focus state and make it a private variable and confirm it as focus field to add focus in text field we need to use the focus view modifier which will take the focus state property wrapper along with the field state add this below every text field add another modifier of summit label which will show on the ui keyboard add another modifier of text content type it sets the text content type for the view which the system uses to offer suggestions while the user enters the text for every text field there is a different text content type now let's create a function that will help to switch our focus on text fields To do so create a function as field which will take input as the current field which confirms to focus field Then create a switch case pattern
then assign the value of the focus field to next field. Similarly, create another function and add the field focus value to the previous field. Now use these two functions inside button action respectively. Add the field focus value as input and if the value is null, the button will use the first field. Similarly, add the function inside the previous button action. Now run the simulator and check whether our code is running or not. And here we can see that our code runs as expected. To make the keyboard button work for changing the forms field, just below the form view, add on summit modifier. And add the switch field function. Now run the simulator again. So this is how we build a better form using focus field in SwiftUI. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.